In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial aimed at complete beginners I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. When you first open up Resolve you'll get this projects um, tab here. Now you can go ahead and use the untitled project if you want by simply just selecting open or you can select new project and give your project a title and then select create and this will open up the video editor before bringing any videos into uh, Resolve what I would do is come down to the very bottom right of the screen and look for the cog. Select this and what you need to do is look at the resolution and the video format because although um, Resolve will change the frame rates it doesn't always change these. So I've got this set up at 1920 by 1080 HD. You can select whichever format that suits you. I'm going to still leave this at 1920 by 1080 and also the video format 1080p at 24 frames isn't the um, frame rate that I should be working with. However the one thing that um, Resolve will do is automatically change the frame rate so as long as your format here matches and up here matches your video or the, what you want to work with everything should work okay so I'm going to just select save you'll notice that my uh, mouse strokes are coming up here as well okay so to bring some video clips into Resolve got a few options but if you just come up to the top left and select import media now what you need to do is navigate to the folder where you've stored your videos and then select the videos that you want to use so if you just hold down control and just select the videos you intend to use these are MTS um, videos and then select open and what you'll find is this will should come up if you haven't set your frame rates up so it says that the um, it's different frame rates so you could select don't change if you want to stick with a certain frame rate but I'm going to select change and this will set everything up to work fine now a lot of people in video editors they they muck around with cutting clips in the timeline. Now some editors is the only option you've got. But with Resolve and some of the better editors, there's another way of doing this. You up here as well, you can actually scan through your clip by dragging your mouse over the clip. So say this one in particular is a particularly long one. So I could double click one of the clips here but it will actually bring the clip in with the timeline set wherever this pointer is so if you just place your pointer just above the clip so it's highlighted double click the clip now in this instance I'm going to just press play and stop here in fact I'll mute the sound so I've stopped just with this chaps finished here. So this is the point I want to start the video from. So instead of chopping and cutting videos, because you may want to adjust the length, if you hit I on your keyboard, it can be capital or lowercase, your video will start from this point. So I'm going to just actually just drag this over for speed rather than play it. So I'll drag this clip over to there. And this time I'm going to hit O for out. And once I'm happy that I'm going to be playing the video 
in the timeline track from this point to this point just hold your left mouse button down and drag it into you can either bring it into this track up here or the bottom one and that's your first clip added so I'll do another one again just to the bottom double click and again you can either press play and stop or drag this along so I'm going to drag this along to I don't know about this point here and then hit I for in drag this along and then O for out and again I'll drag this clip into here if you want to see the end of your clip the best way is to roll your middle mouse so I'm just using my middle mouse button and I'm rolling it. I'll do another clip. Let's do this one here. And I know this one goes on for a bit. So we'll just drag this one along to about there. Hit I for in. Drag this along to about there. O for out. And again, I'll drag this clip in, roll my middle mouse to go to the end. And one final clip, double click. Now this one, oh, the train's way away in the distance, but I just kept the camera rolling. So I'm gonna be coming right down to the end here. So I know there's a bit of camera shake here, so we'll go there. I'm going to hit I and then I for out that is drag this along to here and hit zero or oh, O rather for out drag this into the track go all the way back to the beginning or you can drag your uh, timeline marker if you want along to the beginning but with this one's probably the best but We'll go along to here and then press play. Make sure you're happy. And it's looking pretty good. Now the reason I always try and edit in the monitor rather than cut unless I'm doing anything particularly more advanced in the middle is you can actually change the length or the rather the point at which you change so so in in this point plus position here if i wanted to say bring it so that the train is more visible i can actually place my pointer towards the edge or my left mouse button down and actually just drag it over a bit and it will change the point that the train comes in you can do the same with this one drag it over and actually make the clip shorter so you can actually adjust the clips because you haven't put a hard cut in you can actually just adjust the end and start of the clips so I don't know we'll just go with this for now Because this is just a very quick tutorial. Next thing you need to do, go up to the top, and I'm not going to go into changing the codex or anything. Because this is this is a very simple tutorial just to get people started. Top right says quick export. Select this, and you can export to YouTube or the other one. But I'm going to leave this at H.264. It's pretty much a standard sort of format these days. It's telling me the aspect ratio is the height ratio I want. And it's 25 frames per second. Which, to be honest, isn't normal these days. But that's what these are filmed in. And I'm going to select Export. Make sure it's going to the folder I want it to go to. It says Timeline 1. I'm going to give it another title. I don't know. Oh, 
that'll do that's what it is select save and your video should start rendering I'll come back to this when it's finished once your video is finished rendering you can close this down I would do a save um, and save project just in case something's gone wrong so select save project because otherwise the project you saved or created right at the beginning won't actually uh, be visible when you reopen um, resolve so make sure you save project or you can, can hit control plus s so hopefully you should have something that looks a bit or actually plays and has been edited in resolve thank you for watching cheers